What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in today's video it's going to be actually a different video. Today I'm going to explain to you guys the top three ways you can reverse diet. A reverse diet is basically a diet after a diet. It's supposed to be a phase after you've gotten down to your goal body weight and you slowly want to increase calories so you don't put on all the body fat that you lost too quickly. Now you will gain weight some people actually lose weight, but you will, if you're not an anomaly, you will gain some weight. It's just the name of the game. You're going to increase calories. You're going to increase not only fat on your body, but you're going to increase water volume. You're going to incre increase glycogen. You're going to have way better workouts in the gym as you get your calories back up to a maintenance level for you. Now, like I mentioned before, there is some anomalies that get away with losing weight during a, during a reverse diet because, well, there's there could be many reasons for it. Their metabolism could be just slightly better than the average Joe. Um, they could be, uh, their knee can be going up dramatically as they're increasing their calories since they've been low for so long. Their body kind of forgot like how to use that many calories. So they're getting all this energy and they're going, and their step counts going like up 5,000 extra steps or they're just doing more training performance in the gym. They're getting way more, uh, way better workouts in uh, because all that extra sodium and glycogen is going into the muscles more. And um, those are just, you know, anomalies. Some people get caught up on all the anomalies on like Instagram and YouTube and stuff and think that's what's going to happen for them. And when it doesn't, they, they, they get real depressed and they get real down on themselves. And that's not how it should be at all. Because what you see on social media, those that's just one in a thousand other people. You know, they just have great genetics. God bless them with really good genetics. And, you know, if you don't have that same type of genetic makeup in your body, then you won't have the same results as them. So who should reverse diet? Definitely somebody that's been in a fat loss phase for a very long time. So if you've been in a fat loss phase for at least between anywhere from 8 to 12 months and you've lost a significant amount of weight and you're just noticing that you're hitting a stall or... Um, you know, you, you've done everything, you've done the refeeds, you've done the diet breaks, um, and you're just not in a good place to be constantly dieting, that would be an excellent time um, to get out of a diet, I, I, in my opinion. I think you should reverse out of that, and um, I, I really think it'll benefit you in the long run. You can only diet for so long until your diet fatigue just reaches its max. And I've been there before, so I know how it feels. So, you know, Sometimes it's better just taking a step back and saying, you know what, let me let me reverse diet, get my metabolism back in a way better place, maybe add a little bit of more muscle on before I diet again. And so many people, they, you know, in their heads, they, they act like they, they failed. But no, that's that's not it. That's not it. You will be in so much of a better place mentally, emotionally, you'll be able to enjoy time out with your family and your friends. And, and honestly, it's going to, like I said before, it just will set you up for dieting better in the future. We can't always be in a diet all the time. And so many people think that's the way to live. And it's not. You cannot be dieting your whole life. I mean, there's so many vitamins and minerals that get depleted during a diet that it's just unhealthy. I mean, you lose so much. You can lose so much sodium. You, you, you know, your, B, your vitamin B12 can be down. Um, you can f feel a lack of energy because of that. You're not getting in enough vitamin C. Maybe your immune system's down a little bit. You know, if, if you're not dieting right, um, many other factors, you know, constipation and um, hair, skin, and nails, things can be falling, out, falling, uh, falling off your body and, and you just don't know why. And the main issue is, is that you've been in a deficit for so long, your body is fighting against you and telling you to not diet anymore and um it's gonna it's gonna fight against you because it doesn't want to get that lean so you'll never know when it's the right time to reverse diet if after your diet so if you've reached your goal then hats off to you you can jump right into your reverse diet and um it's it's easy for you mentally but some people men mentally do not know they could have went through like a drastic weight change. They could have lost 20, 30, 40 pounds and they still aren't as lean as they want to want to get. But maybe right then and there, 
you know, if you haven't tried a diet break, I mean, I mean, if you have tried a diet break and have tried to refeeds and your body is still just not responding, it might be time to just reverse diet from there. Just focus on getting your body back in a better place. If you put on, put on a little bit of weight, that's okay. If you, you know, the goal of a, rever a reverse diet is not to just automatically get all fat again. That's not the point of a reverse diet. The point is to get you back to your back to a normal calorie level. You know, your metabolism will um, downregulate a little bit during a diet. Doesn't mean it's damaged, but it will downregulate. And the only way to get it back up again is to reverse diet. And some people will say, well, why can't I just jump my calories straight back up to where they were before I started the diet? If you do that, you're going to gain weight a lot quicker. You can do it, but you will gain a lot of weight way more quickly if you if you do it that way. And plus your growl, it's, I don't think that's a good idea personally because ghrelin will be um, out of this world, which is the hunger hormone. It will, you will be all messed up. You'll be hungry a lot. Blood sugars will be spiking up and down throughout the day. You just don't want to do that to yourself. It won't be good. It won't be good for you, your physical health and your mental health as a whole. So that's the number one person that, you know, could really benefit from a reverse diet is a person that diets and their diet's over and then it's time for the reverse diet. Now, the second person is somebody that's been chronically under eating for a very, very, very long time and has seen no weight loss whatsoever. Like they're eating 1200 calories and they're, they still have, and they're about 20%, 20 to 30% body fat for, for a male and maybe 30 to 40 for a female. And they haven't seen not, no results, you know, they're strictly tracking everything that they're eating and they just haven't seen anything. Um, and the only way for them to lose weight is to cut calories down to an unrealistic number like five to 800 calories a day, which is not realistic. I think in this case, somebody should definitely take a step back. If somebody's eating like 12 to 1300 calories, I think they should jump those calories back up to at least 1500 and start the reverse process from there. So they, you know, monitor, you know, don't, don't try to gain weight too quick. Um, but I would increase calories, you know, at a, at a good range for you and for your mental health. Um, you don't want to gain, you know, a bunch of unwanted weight. I understand that, but for, you got to look at the bigger picture here. You know, you go out with family and friends, you're going to want to eat something that's, that's, you know, pretty calorie caloric dense. And if you're eating 1200 calories in a day, and that's your maintenance calories, it's going to be extremely hard, you know, the rest of your life to maintain something like that. You want to enjoy your life. I mean, fitness is great and all, but you know, when you're out with your family and your friends, your significant other, and you're and you eat over 1200 calories which a lot of restaurants you know they don't track their food to the t i mean some of those meals you eat 1200 calories might be just for one meal plus what you ate throughout the day and it's just it doesn't create a good um relationship with food at all so i would you know slowly increase your calories over time maybe one to 200 a week um if you don't feel comfortable weighing yourself put the scale away throw the scale away Try to look at different markers. See how your clothes are fitting you. See if your waist is coming down. You know, because you know you could be building muscle and getting more glycogen in your muscle, and the scale could be going up and showing you a false number there. But in reality, you're actually looking better because of the muscle fullness and the muscle glycogen. And in your mind, you're thinking that you're gaining fat, but you could be actually just gaining water, glycogen, and even muscle, especially if you're strength training and getting stronger in the gym. This will also make dieting in the future so easy for you. You know, you may be able to reverse yourself back up to, you know, 26, 2700 calories where your maintenance, you know, should be if you're around like two, you know, 200 to 220 pounds, depending on your activity level and all that other stuff. But, you know, if you can reverse yourself back up to a normal level and stick there for a little bit and maintain your weight, then when you diet again, the weight's going to come off really good. Now, you don't want to crash diet and back down to like 1,200 calories a day every single day. But you slowly, you know, if you once you go into that two to 300 calorie deficit when you want to lose weight, it's going to come off so much quicker because you've you've done the work, you re reverse dieted, you're sticking to your calories throughout this long-term approach, months on end, your body gets used to that. And then when you want to cut down and get the body fat off, it, you're going to go, holy crap, like this is a lot easier than... It was when I was trying to starve myself on 1,200 calories. So 
that's the bottom line for that person, guys. You know, um, you know, if you're eating that low, I I highly would recommend to you know reverse your way out of that. And the third person I would actually recommend the reverse diet for is some is somebody who is just getting into, you know, tracking your macros, tracking your calories, seeing where you are. You know, track your calories for about a week and and you know, weigh yourself and try to get a baseline of maintenance calories for you. And if you're a new person going into the gym, you know, you that's the best time for you to gain muscle. When you're when you're a newbie, you'll put muscle on like crazy. And I think that would be an excellent time for somebody to go through a little reverse diet, you know, up in your calories, you know, maybe not as drastic, maybe like 50 to 100 a week and see how your body and weight responds to that. You know, if you're gaining like something like crazy, like two pounds a week, then you want to cut it back. But, you know, if you're gaining like 0 0.3, 0 0.5 pounds a week and you're getting stronger in the gym and that's all going to muscles, I mean, if you're a newbie and you're a, you're a beginner, I would highly just go try to build your metabolism up as much as possible, put as much muscle on as you could um, naturally. And then when it does come time to cut down and diet, your first successful diet will be like a breeze. Uh, that's just my recommendation. A lot of people probably be like, this kid's crazy. But from my experience, I wish I would have did that, you know, back when I first started lifting um, about seven years ago. It's just... Um, I wish I would would have got out of my head. I listened to a lot of these fitness YouTubers, you know, um, a lot of crash dieting I did, and and it, it wasn't good. It wasn't good for my mental or anything. And you know, um, I've been through multiple reverse diets now and multiple um, cutting phases. And um, I do suffer with IBS, as you guys know, on my channel. So I do follow like a low FODMAP diet when I'm when I'm you know whether I'm cutting or bulking. So right now I'm in a reverse diet actually right now as prescribed by my coach as we speak. So I'm slowly, you know, getting back into a health, healthier, it's called a health phase too, depending on, you know, um, what terms you use. But uh, I'm in this health phase, reverse dieting phase to get me back up to a good number before I get into my building phase, which is, you know, trying to put on some good muscle, good quality muscle and, um, just trying to come in looking better, you know. Um, I did have a photo shoot recently. Couldn't be any more happier, but I want to put on more size. I just, I have to put on more size. And the only way to do that for me is through a little FODMAP diet and easy to digest foods. So um, that's another topic for another video. I just wanted to get this one out today, guys, to explain a little bit about reverse dieting. I could get way, you know, I, I can go on and on. If I wanted to explain all the signs about reverse dieting, that's going to be like an hour video of it's by itself. You know, that's, you know, that's like podcasting something that I, I, um, wouldn't want to get into just yet, but you know, I mean, there's so, so much more benefits to a reverse diet than, um, everybody knows. Uh, that's just kind of the basics. Like I said, this was just a short video. Um, I'm trying, I'm going to try and keep getting more and more content out. Um, let me know what you guys want to see, what type of videos you want to see from me, maybe like a full day of eating, like a low, low fall map style. Um, yeah, just comment, like, share, subscribe, and um, head over to corenutritionals.com. Great protein powders, great, great pre-workouts. Um, they have both stim-free and regular. Uh, good pump products, great regular creatine products, amazing stuff. And, and you know what, guys? They fill up the containers like all the way to the top so you don't get skinned out on any amount of protein powder they're a great company to work with core nutritionals use code dfrank at checkout it'll save you 20 percent off and also old, old school labs <clears throat> you want to use code dfrank 15 that i'm sorry code dom 15 code dom 15 for 15 percent off your whole order um old school labs also another great company all their products they all are made from natural ingredients. Some are even just flavored with stevia. Their BCAs and are just stevia. Some of their protein powders are just stevia. They have stim-free um, pre-workouts, regular pre-workouts, and they have great products over on their site, great merchandise. So head out, check them out, uh, use those codes. Please support my channel. Um, and yeah, guys, uh, you guys all have a great day, okay? Take care.